everyone, this is Joanne. How are you today? I wanted to share my new Shimmers Paint scrapbooking haul that I got because this stuff is gorgeous. And so this is, I'm going to show you what I got. And this is kind of like an unboxing video for the June and July 2023 paper kits they're so beautiful so i'm going to start off with june and with june you get some felicity jane alphabet stickers they're like cardstock stickers in white so nice and then you get dots d-o-t-z they're like epoxy flare buttons so pretty look at that butterfly i love those okay and then for june the paper is this oh my goodness look gorgeous purple mixed media already done for you and you can add to it and the paper is super thick i really really like the quality of shimmers paper collection and the back side of that is a really pretty vintage watering can with some um what are those called lilacs no like lavender pretty 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 and then honeycombs with some little teeny bees on there oh that's cool look at that you guys you could fussy cut this out and put your photos behind those frames beautiful beautiful yellow and teal those leaves are big enough to fussy cut that'd be pretty oh how cute little um flower pots that teal color is gorgeous isn't it and then, ooh, look at this. I haven't looked yet, so we're doing this together. Nice window. With, oh, I feel like I have to fussy cut those flowers. Super duper pretty. Oh, my goodness. Look at the succulents on that. I want to fussy cut that, too, and lift it up with some foam. Pretty. Nice, clear, crisp white paper, too. I love that. Oh my goodness, some more lavender with a little birdie and a bow tie down here. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I love it. <gasps> Teal wood grain, you guys. Look at that. It looks like real, so detailed. Beautiful. Okay, and then you get this nice pretty paper. You could do a lot of mixed media on that. That's gorgeous. Ooh, look at that. This could go any of the four ways, depending on how you made your layout. Nice mixed media done for you. And then what do we have here? Oh my goodness. That's pretty. Little wheelbarrow and the fence. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's pretty. Look at those leaves. Nice. <gasps> look at all that ephemeral we get. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at that that's super easy to fussy cut too very well designed Stacy good job oh I love that postcard look at that vintage postcard oh I can't wait to use this and then this is a nice gray looks like a sweater if you ask me that's pretty oh my gosh we get two sheets of ephemera with the June kit that's awesome bonus look at all of those oh my goodness gracious pretty for pictures of people out at the garden or if you visited a garden center or you know like one of those garden places that you can go to or your own garden how pretty nice blue in the back here oh my goodness look how pretty this is very thick high quality paper too okay so that was the june 2023 kits all right, I'm going to break it up with showing you some of my new colors. I can't wait to use these. So I'll show them to you really quick. They're in these little jar pods. I like to call them. They're so cute. The shimmers. This is peaches and cream. This is one of my favorites. I use this a lot, so I ran out and got myself another one. But the shimmers are super sparkly, and they have little shimmery bits right in there. So pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And then this is an Inklings, and it's called French Toast. And I have never used this one before. I can't wait. Now, with the Inklings, they are a solid. So all you do is spray some water in there and let it sit for three to five minutes. And then it becomes like a really thick liquid. And they're so gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. I can't wait to use that color. <gasps> That's beautiful. Okay, this is a Shimmers, 
in the navy. I could not wait to get that color. Look at that. <gasps> Look at that navy color. I love, love, love me some navy. Look at You can see. Hold on. Ugh. I don't want to spill it. I'm trying to see if I can get this close for you. Okay, hold on. Right there. It's got lots of shimmery bits in it. And super, super, super pretty. So usually I'll take a little bit out with a paintbrush and then use a little bit of water to make it go a little bit further. But so gorgeous. I love the navy. And then this one is an Inklings in pistachio. Oh, it looks just like pistachio. Gorgeous. I like to make um, paper with the green colors and then use my metal dies and cut my leaves out. That's great. And this is a Shimmers and Pink Caviar. Oh my gosh. Love. Yep. It's one of my favorite colors from Shimmers. I use it all the time. And this is Pinko, Pinko de Mayo. Oh, that's a gorgeous pink. You guys. Oh. Oh, yummy. And then when you get these, they're already a liquid. And you want to scrape the stuff off the top of the lid and put it back into the jar with your paintbrush. And then when you go to use it, you need to stir it up nice and slow and easy. And then all the shimmery bits are on the bottom of the paint jar. And then you mix it all up so you can get that sparkly goodness, okay? Oh, see? Clumsy. This is an Inklings, and it's called Blue Spruce, and I think this is a new color, you guys. <gasps> oh my gosh, wait a minute, wait just a minute. Gotta check this out. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. That's some perfectness right there. And the names that Stacy thinks of for all the paint colors are just so incredible. Some of them are hysterical, too. All right, so that's some of the paints that I got. I got some more, but I'm going to mix it up and show you the rest of them at the end. And this is the unboxing of the July 2023 kit, which I have not seen yet. So I'm excited about this. And it comes in this nice bag, very thick and sturdy. So you can use this to store your stuff in if you wanted to. Okay, ooh, this month for July 2023, upcoming, it'll be available July 1st. Nice Felicity Jane stencil. Pretty, pretty. Okay. And then here's the dots for July. It's got cute, oh my God, super cute glamping tent, summer, and a peach. I think it's peach. Yeah, it looks like a peach. Those are great. I can't wait to use those. Oh my God, right away, instantly. Are you kidding me with this piece of paper? Oh. You guys, look at that. Look at the words in the mixed media and those gorgeous peaches. Oh, I can't wait. I'm going to use this as the whole thing as a background. Hold on a second. Let me go to my pictures. I just printed, here we go, this gorgeous picture of my girlfriend and my little girlfriend, her daughter. They have matching outfits on. I was trying to figure out what collection to use this with because I make them an album every year and... Oh my God, this is perfect. I can't wait now. This is my favorite piece of paper. I don't even care what else is in here. I'm in love with this piece of paper. Okay, that's cute. Pretty leaves. They look like, um, kind of like eucalyptus leaves, don't they? I'm not really good with the names of things, but oh my goodness. Oh, it feels so nice too. Very, very thick. Oh my, God. oh my goodness gracious, is that not pretty? Look at the peaches, a little salmon coral in there too. Look at even the mixed media inside those leaves. Wow. Oh, tags and journaling cards. That's nice. You can fussy cut those if you want to. I'd have a hard time giving this piece of paper up though. I really like it. Oh, cute. Looks like the a tablecloth, doesn't it? Those cool tablecloths with little peaches on it. Mm. Oh, wow. Look at that. I need, was looking for a new orange paper, too, because I have the best photos of um, my little girlfriend here. She's dressed up as Ariel. 
um, princess. I'm going to put a picture of her up right here because I think I might use this for that. Oh my goodness, watercolor flowers. I, you know what? I could fussy cut those and use them with this. Super cool for summer photos or vacation or if you went somewhere tropical or even to the beach. Oh my goodness, even if you went to your pool, that would be so cool. All right, what's on this side? Oh, some more of that. This, how pretty. Okay, I'm really liking these together though. Oh my God. Yeah, cute. Look at this. I think that, I think that these could be fussy cut. I really do. They're not too tiny. That's stunning. I'm going to have to cut that up. Oh my goodness, I'm in love with these colors. Oh my goodness, look at this paper. I'm going to have to get a second pack of this paper. Okay, oh my goodness. All right, yep, that's my second favorite. Oh, this is so interesting. What is this? Dots, mixed media. You know, how cool would it be to replicate this with like, you know, something you have circular and just put it in your paint and then go like this all over your page in different colors. That's cool. Oh, that's pretty too. I love it. Oh, all right, all right. What's this? Oh, look at that. It's like a watercolor, like, just like a country outside, little mountain sort of. I don't really think these are mountains, like hills. Oh, trees. And look at this right here. That's pretty. Oh, I love this. Look at this color with this pretty leaf down here. I like that. Okay, and this is green. I don't know if the camera is making it look black. I was wondering if you could tell, but it's green. Really pretty. Here's our ephemera. Oh, look, summer. And a little glamping to that glamping tent is everything. Some trees to cut out, a little typewriter, a camera, more trees squirrel kite little bear paw prints a pie a peach pie ice cream flowers i think those are grapefruit a little beverage in a mason jar how cute oh some more florals that you could use oh my god a camper <laughs> get out that is adorable all right what do we got here oh look this is pretty hmm i really like that <gasps> Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm going to have to fussy cut those two. I'm going to have to figure out which one of these I can use with that awesome picture that I just showed you. Well, I'm using one of them. So pretty. All right, so that's the July kit. Again, you can get the whole thing together, the paper kit with the extra embellishments and a cut file and that month's color kits, which the colors match with that perfectly, or you can buy them all separately, okay? So pretty. I'm going to link that below and there's a really good, they're in like three separate categories on the website too. So be careful before you pick which one you want. Okay. Oh, a new, see, I knew I was going to drop something. All right. So here's my new sprays that I got. So I got, let me put these to the side. So I got two new spray colors. So let's shake this up. Now, with shimmers, when you get your sprays, you want to go like this because some of them have sparkly bits in it that are really, really super shiny and lovely, and you don't want them getting stuck in your nozzle. If it does happen, you can just put some, take your nozzle out and run it through some hot water, and you'll be okay. This is a Vibes, and this is Tangerine Dream. Look at that. Oh, my goodness, that is so just beautiful let me see here oh my god yep 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 so i think that this is available in the july color kits i think that's what the tangerine dream is going to be so keep an eye out for that july 1st and then this one is called green tide monster okay pretty see how it's like this and then you gotta mix it up like this. And now it's all mixed up. Look. Now, these are new. And I want to explain these to you because they are 
amazing absolutely amazing these are my new ones and they they're called color splash it's brand new from shimmer so i'm going to put a picture up here so you can see all the amazing colors that they come in but what they are is glossy acrylic sprays and it's called color splash all kinds of different colors like i said but they're amazing so it's kind of like an acrylic paint spray it is just so cool so this one is called black hole which awesome for some black splatters super black i love that okay this one is once upon a lime <laughs> and with the color splash they had that bead in there so you do want to do this until you hear the bead if you start doing this and you don't hear the bead that means that it's not mixed up at all you got to keep going until it's mixed up real nice okay but look at how pretty that is mm that's going to be gorgeous and then this one is ahoy oh this is not a color splash this is a colorings this is ahoy matey and i use this all the time like literally all the time it comes it looks like it's black in the bottle but it comes out like a really nice charcoal gray and i just love it i use it constantly so i was running out and got myself another one I haven't gotten this one yet but i do have a whole bunch of other colors in the color splash which i'll get out and show to you um, this is called Bronze Baby, and look, it looks like it has some blue in it, too. So you want to make sure that you do this real good. Oh my gosh, and I just want to show you the difference. Okay, so this is a Color Splash Acrylic Spray, and then this is a Colorings, which is just liquid spray, not just, but, you know, not acrylic. Okay, so this one is in the Ahoy Matey. Okay, let me get a paintbrush. I want to show you the difference. So this is a liquid. And it, if you can see really close, it's starting to sink into the paper, which you want it to do. See how it's gray? Really nice. Okay, let me get a different brush. And then this one is acrylic, so it's going to be super smooth and silky. And if you left it like this, it would dry dimensional just like that. So you can make your own like, little enamel dots like. Look at that. See the difference? That's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yep, this is going to be one of my new favorite colors. That is an amazing splatter color. Yes, it is. So again, look at the dimension on that. Leave it, put it someplace safe to dry for a few hours or overnight, and go to bed, and in the morning you have that beautiful splatter with a little bit of dimension on it. And if you actually wanted to take your paintbrush and paint with this, a little bit goes a long way so one bottle will last you a very very long time let me get the other colors out that I have in my stash all right these are the other color splash that I have in my stash already and this one is called the pearl next door so cute I will put a dot of each one on the paper so this is going to be a pearl next door and this is white but with some really pretty pearlescent type paint in it a little shimmery so pretty this one is chrome alone how funny you know how we're always doing gold splatters how about some silver splatters and this is a true true silver sometimes i tried to do silver splatters in other things and they just ended up coming out gray you know so this is awesome this is Gold Digger, which is my very favorite. I've used this a million times already. I use it on almost everything now. It's a real, real true gold. Whereas the bronze that we that I just got and I showed you, that's got like a bronze metallic to it. Here's an awesome one. This one is Sea Breeze. Gorgeous for the summer or a light blue layout. Pretty pretty. Let me make that a little bit bigger. Okay. 
and then this one is whites of their eyes now you know how you're always looking for a really nice white splatters you can use acrylic paint you can water down gesso you don't have to anymore this is stunning super white i have even used this i can't get it open i have even used this for there oh my goodness I have even used this for if I was drawing on a cut file or something and my black pen slipped and I got a black mark where I didn't want it, I would put this right over the top of it and it would cover up, <clears throat> excuse me, my allergies, it would cover up where I made my mistake on my cut file. So that's awesome. And this one is called, see the bead, pink lemonade. I mean, who doesn't want pink? Okay, I'm going to put that nice right there so you can see them all. Super pretty. Okay, so let me pick this up. And I want to show you. Do you see what I'm saying, saying about the dimension? And again, leave them. Let them dry. Put them someplace safe so they don't get hit. And they stay that way. Yes, they do. And then if you wanted to just use them to paint... Very silky and smooth and gorgeous. Yep, I'm just going to use the same paintbrush and hope I don't mess everything up. And then I'll just wash it later. Very, very nice to paint with them too. Okay, so that's my new stash I got for my Shimmers paints. And I'll leave you with a picture of where I store my Shimmers paints in the container that I found on Amazon. I have a video for that if you want to watch it. Thank you for stopping by. If you have any questions about Shimmers paints or mixed media, please feel free to get a hold of me on here or Instagram or Facebook and ask me any questions. I'm happy to help you. If you're interested in any of this stuff, um, go ahead and place an order in the Shimmers paints shop. And if you put my name in the comment box, which is at the end before you pay and you scroll down to the bottom of the page and there's a box, empty box that says comment, if you put my name then you'll get a free gift from Shimmers Paints with every order. And anytime you put my name, you'll always get a free gift. So usually it's a little pot of paint like this. So awesome to get a free paint and bulk up your um, collection of Shimmers Paints. So don't forget to leave my name. Okay. Thank you for stopping by to see me. Hope you have a nice day. Bye.